hello friends welcome to my channel today I am going to show you how to migrate DSCP server in this demo I am going to migrate DSCP server from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2008 let's have some idea about my demo environment I am currently using Fin2K3 DSCP01 as my DSCP server and I have installed Windows Server 2003 R2 operating system on my DSCP server. The IP address of the current DSCP server is 192.168.1.253. And I am going to migrate DSCP server from this server to Windows Server 2008 machine. The host name of that machine is Win2K8 hyphen DSCP02 and the operating system installed on that server is Windows Server 2008 R2 the IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.254 so DSCP server need to migrate to on this server just for your information I have one Active Directory server as well as in my environment that is holding Active Directory role and DNS role. So this is my first server that is currently working as a DSCP server in my environment. The host name is Win2K3 DSCP01 and I am going to open DSCP console and here is my DSCP settings you can verify I have created two scope on my DSCP servers also for the demo purpose I have created a fake MAC address reservation in my Windows Server 2003 DSCP server and these are my DSCP pools and DSCP settings you can verify the router setting DNS setting and DNS domain name setting these things and this is my new server where I am going to migrate my old DSCP server this is my win2k3 win2k8 hyphen DSCP02 the operating system installed in this server is Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprises and for the testing purpose this is my Windows 7 client machine that is currently taking IP address from my DSCP server that is 192.168.1.253 that is my host Windows Server 2003 machine that is acting as a DSCP server so DSCP server migration step first we need to install DSCP server role on Windows Server 2008 DSCP Server 02 from add role so I am going to add DSCP role on my new server I am on Windows Server 2008 machine click on server manager and here we are we need to click on roles then I am going to click on add roles click next the server role I am going to create TSCP server click next click next this is my adapter that is connected with my Windows Server 2008 machine click next I can verify these settings next next I don't need to go for the creating DSCP scope so I am skipping this step okay I just need to ensure if there was need for win DSCP version 6 or not so I am enabling this in and this is my parent domain I am going to verify my domain server
it's basically for IPv6 that's why it's not going to verify so on this condition we can actually disable IPv6 no problem click next and currently I am using credential of my DSCP server admin role as I have logged in with the my DSCP server admin account so click on next and I am just going to install it's installing the roles it's going to configure DSCP role and installation succeed so now we can verify our DSCP server settings from administrative tools and DSCP here we are we have installed the DSCP server role on this server but we did not create any scope because we are going to migrate our old DSCP server database to new DSCP server so in next step we need to use we need to have use export command to export DSCP database from our old server that is win2k3 DSCP01 I am going to just copy this command copy this command and I am going to open my command prompt and just go and verify there is one folder we need to create is backup backup command I am going to paste my that is created my command is net ss dscp server export d colon slash backup slash file name dscp backup dot all so it's showing me command completed successful so I am going to verify yes it's copied actually our all database in one text file so in next step copy the export data on Windows Server 2008 R2 Server. So I am going to copy this file, uh, this folder to share location. This is my share location where I have created earlier, and I copied my backup folder to share location and now I am going to copy this folder from the shear location to my new server so here is the folder I am going to copy this folder to my local machine on D drive so good to go we have copied the folder and now we need to import DSCP database on our new server I'm going to copy this command and going on new server and opening command prompt so asking for permission and I'm just going to paste this command And it's showing command completed successfully so it's time to verify our DSCP server need to refresh okay you got the both scopes created here and now I'm going to just disable my old DSCP server and IC card so it's not more available on my network and 
I have just disabled so it's not more reachable from the network it's not coming it means we have disconnected the whole server from the network and just verify every settings is configured correctly so for the test we have migrated successfully DSCP server and it's giving the IP address to our client I'm going on my old Windows 7 client machine that is previously it's taking DSCP IP address from my DSCP server 192.168.1.253 that is Windows Server 2003 machine and I'm just going to diagnose once so it's basically disable and enable the network adapter I'm not doing disabling and enabling because it's my it's asking for the administrator so I'm just going for my resetting my network connection problems and one is done we can verify actually it's getting IP address from our new server or not So I'm going to cancel this and just check out. It's working. It's getting IP address from 192.168.1.252 server. That is our new DSCP server. So we have successfully migrated DSCP server from Windows Server 2003 machine to Windows Server 2008 R2 machine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos.